It's got to be at least a half a mile wide on the left. <sighs> it must be normal, huh? It's got to be. Well, it's been about an hour. 11.30 now instead of 10.30. Inch and a half. He's even burying it. What a good cat. <laughs> Look at the snow on him. The super colony is now off the coast moving southwest across the Pacific. Apparently Andromeda hasn't turned lethal again. At least there hasn't been any reports of bizarre death. of your antidote to it, Mark. Cloud seed. We're seeding the clouds above Andromeda with silver iodide. The raindrops will carry the organism into the ocean, and the alkaline reaction from seawater should kill it. Just as acids are alkaline, the blood stopped it. This cloud seeding business, Stone, you absolutely sure it worked? You better be. All reports continue to indicate that the experiment was successful. All of this, it's 420 has been laid down on April 6th. In the last couple of hours, I was back at Mammoth Pool, which is about 50 miles of driving back, and I, could, I neglected uh, video. I got a shot by accident, I'll put it on. So I've been streaking from the west out here towards the east, where we are on the western Sierras, and laid down these mostly north to south patterns. Some of them are east and west. There's just one plane after another. I'm talking like five in a couple of minutes. Should be able to see that. I don't know why they're hard to see, but some of them are. It's only been another minute or so. I'm home now. It's about 10 minutes later. And it's going southerly. It's about 525. So there's been a couple more planes by. Being westerly. And that's looking north. All of this was done by airplanes. And I hope you can see this ribbing in here. Banding, if you will. It was really dramatic up the road. Well, hopefully you can see that what appears to be a normal contrail out there. And all this interesting ribbing. So it's Tuesday morning about 10 a.m. on the 7th of April. Sorry about the dirt on the lens. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Well, I don't know. They look cool. I can look at my cloud book books. You tell me. So that was looking northwesterly and now we're looking southwesterly. So the sun's just off to my right. We're looking easterly. Nothing. Then we start getting this pattern. Let's see. And then we can rotate around to the south here. And out this way, where the sun's so bad, it's just a mush of haze. It's distinct bands show up and it's close up. It's just the dirt on my lens gets worse the closer I get. Looking the easterly where we had nothing, you know, 10 minutes ago. See, at 10, 20, there wasn't anything there. See. And there's your patch of blue is way out there. Now that's got to be about four miles out for that patch of blue. Yeah, I play this back to see how accurate the uh, reproduction is. And this is pretty much what I'm seeing. It's interesting. All right, so now it's 1040. That's sort of west. Sort of, sort of smearing together now. Well, now it's <coughs> Tuesday about 6 p.m. And uh, so there was a gap between those interesting clouds and then there was a band of sky and then there were uh, these clouds coming in which is around 2 p.m. I'd say 1 p.m. they were over Fresno. So is it all connected? I, you know, it's all synchronistic. Then 
we can feel confident your so-called biological crisis is over. As far as Andromeda is concerned, yes. We have the organism at wildfire and we continue to study. We now know beyond a doubt that other forms of life exist in the universe. Thanks to school. Yes. However, with this new knowledge, 